fossil fuel economy to alternatives takes a long time. We are in that process and I recognize it. But the time at which it's going to take is going to be at least 10 or 15 years to get all the fossil fuels. With the state of our economy where it is now, the ability to develop these fossil fuels will be slowed, or to, to or develop the alternatives will be slowed. I'd like to encourage people to begin thinking about allowing us to start to tap into the resources of the fossil fuels that are offshore and on land in this country in the interim. The reasons that I think this are twofold. The first one for me is sovereignty. If we can have that as a backup in the long term, we will become more stable as an independent nation again because we will not be dependent on other countries. At the same time, encourage maybe to encourage those um, entities that do <coughs> produce the fossil fuels to put a certain percentage into the development of alternatives. I think we need not to throw away the concept of drilling here and drilling now because we need the funds, we need the jobs, and we need the resources that are going to come from that effort. And I, you know, I, I keep hearing that it's an all or nothing kind of thing, and I'm sitting in this room today, it's quite evident that even the theory of whether or not global warming is the be all and end all is still up for debate. So I'd like you to go back and encourage the conversation, not make the decision, but at least open the conversation to say, okay, how can we get through the next 15 years and what can we have as a backup for our reserve and, and independency as a country? Thank you.
We haven't had time to talk about some things that I'm really torn on right now. Afghanistan, auto company bailouts, what's next on the tarp? I need uh, what we should give up in our budget if we have to choose to give something Next up. Time we <laughs> <laughs> so um, again, I can't. Uh, in fact, I can guarantee you that hopefully somewhat less than 50% of you will, will will disagree with what I'm doing. Um, but I will um, promise you that you will always be part of. And I invite you to not communicate just formally in these contexts, but call my office in Washington. I see the calls that come in. Email, send letters particularly on those topics I just enumerated, um, one thing is for sure is that we are going to come through these, these very difficult times, and we will do it by kind of sharing our thoughts and ideas together. So again, hats off to all of you who took some time out on a beautiful spring Sunday for coming out here. Thank you very much.